Hawks here. Today we are doing some layout for our crystal rail pods. Uh, we have to add solid blocking underneath all of this flat blocking. The flat blocking is for our surface borders, our curved surface borders, which we made this weekend. And uh, uh, DJ Studio Man, you'll capture a shot of all that stuff, show everybody what we did this weekend, how many bent boards we have, all that behind the trailer. Um, but now I'm doing a layout of where these pods are going to go and then Phil's going to come back and add solid blocking because we run four inch legs through construction legs after the deck's laid through here, all through here and into solid blocking. So this is kind of a challenging area that we have to do but um, has to be done. So we're getting that done today. Um, Andy and I are going to be working on the bench area for the inside curve and finish framing up our stairs and into our bench. So that's gonna probably take us all day. Um, if we get all that done, then I might be able to start laying down some decking. So that's our goal today. Um, not much else going on. So it's um, rail support, bench support, curve, uh, curve benches, curve steps. That's what's up. What's going on here? I, I have my back bench board in place. And because we're running the bench into the stairs and we're blending these together, I have to frame the bench into the stairs or the stairs into the bench or however you want to, whatever you want to call it. So to do that, I have to figure out some cuts where I need to, to cut some things back. And then um, we have to create a back to our bench and then add a bunch of two by fours to it and install it and then leave it long. But if, the first thing I have to do is figure out where these are getting cut. And then I need to kind of create a flat spot so I can create all these curves to help with this bench seat um, and st slash stair. I'm cutting the fascia board back an inch or the rim, the frame of this bench because we're going to put. because we're gonna put one by our deck boards vertically as a skirt along the inside of the bench. So that'll bring me out an extra inch. So I'm cutting everything an inch back from what I need so that when it's finished, it fits properly. Sometimes it's amazing how close you can get doing different ways to lay something out. So I start with my bent, my bent bench board and then I measure it over 15 inches uh, where the where my framing needs to stop before I can put in my skirting before I can put in my bench so I'm thinking to myself. Okay, cool. I'm good there. So then I um, I have this compass that's been laid out on this lower deck So we're dealing with different elevations, right? So right now I'm trying to figure out the elevation or where this frame ends from this elevation and I thought well What the heck I'll double check it to my lower elevation where my curved surface border is going to come in. So this is where my curved surface border lays in is these two marks right here. And then I'm two inches back from this point, which is where my finish is going to be for the bench. And it's just kind of uncanny that it like where I mark this on both sides lays out exactly to where I needed it on this lower edge. So good for me. All right, sometimes um, when you're cutting, like I need to cut this board off, right? And I don't want to cut through the G-tape. Um, so I would have to take this piece uh, or take the I would have to take this jigsaw and try to cut it like this and try to cut through it without hitting Anything or screwing things up. So instead of doing that I have these special bits right these blades that go in and they flush out To the nose of my jigsaw so now I can make that flush cut without cutting up a bunch of other stuff
Hey, uh, how do you bend decking? Just kidding. What do you, what do you, what do you, uh, okay, bye. I'm creating some plates on a curve so I know the curve of the bench. I have to create a flat plate and then I have to create a spot where I can put a leg down to support the bench and be able to put some timber in it so that uh, I can create this curve and have something solid to attach to instead of just PVC. So that's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm just trying to do both sides at the same time so I don't have to, I have to move all these boards to install these. So I only want to do this once. Quick tip, it always helps if you label your parts as you're making them so you don't forget which one goes where. I'm gonna attach it here and attach it here and then I'll be able to put a leg down from here and then attach the front of this. And then this gives me something solid to bring in my, uh, my bench framing to. That'll work out rather well. And then once that's together, I'll be able to fill this last little piece in I need here. So it's just like a jigsaw puzzle, just trying to get all the parts to fit. Except you make the parts. Except I make the parts. Yeah, they're not pre-cut out on a machine. <laughs> So it's the, the backboard of the bench is going to stop here or start here okay. and stop on the other side in the same location right here. Okay, so Phil cut this a little short, but it, it probably won't matter. Unless, until we do trim, then it might. Um, so what you gotta do though, is you gotta cut, you have to rip everything down because um, if we do the bench, right? And we do it um, at a full five and a half, then it's gonna be too wide. The back won't matter, but the front will matter. Oh no, it won't. It won't matter because we're skirting it. That skirting's just saving my butt today. I'm still not even sure. You're lost, I know, it's okay. Like, what are you talking about, dude? I don't know, I've, I've got it built in my brain, but nobody understands what I'm doing, so it's okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll like learn. Building like framing, like deck? Like, we're we're like actually, two by eight I think we're gonna do is everything, you're gonna do it on two by six. We're gonna frame this sucker in two by six. Normally, normally I have a gap under the bench and you would see all the framing, but not today because uh, we're skirting the front of the bench and you won't see anything behind it. So it doesn't matter, as long as we can still get to our lights, we'll be fine. Is it gonna be like that? Mm-hmm. Why I did it over here? Well, the it'll be open. I mean, I'm, the one benefit to not laying the decking first like we did at Ben's, mm -hmm. is that we have, because of the bladder, we couldn't do it, do this that install the way we're doing this one. But that just saved us some issues with having to rip, no, you don't have to rip nothing. And it'll actually make the bench stronger by using two by, a full two by six. So we gotta figure out the length of this five quarter, of this piece of one by, I mean, or five quarter, whatever it is, okay? Then we gotta cut a bunch of two by sixes the right length. And then we're gonna put it all together and then put another piece of bent on the front of this thing. Roger? I'm gonna start up here until I get low enough. It's almost 
almost impossible to G-tape with gloves on. Why? Because it sticks to them so well. So I usually take mine off. Hi, Calvin. So I am working on what is going to be the bench, which some people might say, what? <laughs> uh, so our bench is going into a, you know, into a curve. So it's going to be a curved bench, like so. And that is where the PVC comes into play. So we're going to take the PVC and we're going to push it into the form of the curve. And then we're going to take like some four inch, maybe six inch uh, timber locks from Fasten Master. And then we'll fasten this on every spot that we can with two uh, timber locks. And then what you'll end up with is a curve with these things sticking out. And then we're gonna run another piece along the front of it. So there's gonna be another PVC piece going all the way across this in a curve. And then we'll put legs down as support, probably like every other uh, little joist for the bench. Um, it'll make more sense as we get there. But yeah, that's what I'm doing, getting the bench going. Cross over. I might have to do a little go in. Start coming in. Okay. Now shove it my way. Okay. Okay, hold on. Do I need to go uh, down to make it okay for you, or you? Hold on. All right, that's what we got for you for today. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, we are gonna start laying some deck, finally. We have a little bit of framing. We'll probably have to finish up on this bench, and then it's deck time. Please share uh, with your friends and your family and people you don't know, and everybody on, in the world, our page. I'd really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please click that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out new content, which is five days a week, right around noon, please tap the bell icon as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.